guys what's good how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to vinyl tv if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing thank you very much indeed for stopping by thank you very much indeed for clicking i want to show you what we have here we got this gear this is canon eczema tx3 8350 TX8350. This printer is multifunctional printer, it's multitask, triple in one. If you like, in the sense you can copy, scan, and print from this gear. This printer is for everyday documentation. If you check my video, you see how we unbox this printer, what is inside for you to see. What I'm going to do right now is to give you an overview of this printer then we scan the document this printer we loaded the ink cartridges we loaded the paper tray and complete the alignment head connect this printer to wi-fi network okay what we're going to do is scan the document send this to my email or to somebody else also for you to print this out is what we're going to do for us to do that let's give you an overview from the back here if you have any paper jam okay this is where to check for any paper jam open up right here to check for any paper jam and debris sometimes i get information questions about where to check for paper jam so this is where to check for any paper jam and debris gently close it okay and the power cable goes right here three pin power cable is included in the packaging the u on top of it is usb cable connection unfortunately the usb cable is not included in the packaging we have this advenet tech store so this end goes to your pc okay so this is the usb cable is universal canon can use it epson can use it okay. i'm going to remove it it's very handy and the rear paper tray so this paper I got two paper trays this is the rear one and also the bottom one this is the rear paper tray if you check my video see how we loaded the rear paper, tra the paper trail and also the front casket here is the front casket it's loaded with A4 paper okay if you check my video you see how we loaded this paper trail okay, I'm going to put it back okay right now this is the scanner okay so you can scan your document stick the document you want to scan right now i have my driving license i want us to scan okay it's what we're going to do right now is to show you how to scan your document with this printer okay so stick the document you want to scan okay close the scanner gently but before we do that i want to open this printer up for you to see this printer is using six ink, ink cartridges okay various color it's using 581 and 580 581 blue 581bk is black 581pb is pink i mean purple 581 yellow which is white and 580 bgbk is black and 581 popular as well so this is the ink cartridges once you open it up it will come right in the middle and also show you here for you to change it or for you to replace it if you check my video you see how we loaded the ink cartridges okay it's beautiful stuff i'm going to close this down then for us to scan the document once you close it down you wait momentarily for it to process the information okay right now what we can do is you can scan this document okay in two forms you can scan the document with from the printer or you can also scan this document with your mobile device okay so what we have here right now if you check the features right here okay if you, from this picture from these features select this is the settings if we select it it will give you option for you to device setting feeder setting maintenance and cloud 
okay so by for you selecting certain web service set setup web service inquiry if you, this is for you to go back okay now to scan the document you select scan okay now you can save the computer okay attach to email save to cloud okay so if you select save the computer it will scan straight away to the computer that you save to this pc okay but what i want us to do right now is basically to show you how you can do this from the app so photo print document print create photo item smart photocopy scan copy and more so select so this is this printer tx 8300 series okay so select scan and once you select scan it give you a for an option you can change setting by clicking on change settings jpeg is for photo okay for document leave it to pdf okay document type you select document okay now color if you want to have this document scan color you select color if you want to have it scan black then you select black grayscale okay right now we want to scan this document color so you leave it on color okay now document size you have various size of documents you have card land l landscape l portrait four by six landscape four by six portrait hagaki landscape hagaki portrait so you select particular one you, you want if it's letter you select okay if it's card you select is card for instance okay then the next thing you need to do is cancel you go back okay so make sure you select the particular document you you want okay or for instance this is driving license okay you can also select card for instance okay then go back the next thing you need to do is click scan once you click scan it will start scanning now it's telling us please wait momentarily okay so this document right now is scan okay click exit now once you click exit it will save okay but I, I want us to go back okay so this it, it, it came out blank what I want us to do right now is okay because I want to use the document that you see okay so you use the book for instance click scans so go to the setting pg pdf okay color document type a4 paper okay once you've done this select all the setting click scan so right now it's scanning the original Here we go. You can see initially with the driving license, it was not clear, so you couldn't see it. Okay, so right now you can see the document to scan. The original one is here. Okay, if you want to scan the second, for instance, you want to turn it upside down, turn it the other way around and close it. Okay, the next thing you need to do is click scan again. Okay, so if you click scan, It will start to scan again the page two. Okay, so this is the second page. Okay, the next thing we need to do is click exit. Okay, so this scan result has been saved. Click OK. Okay, so this is the document we scan. Okay, now if you want to print this out, 
okay you can actually print this document out you can also send it to somebody for you to print this document go to for you to share this document you go to settings okay click email okay this is to, for you to share right now is my inbox to so type the email address of the person you want to send this to okay i'm going to send it back to myself okay click send it's asking us about the subject click send anywhere so right now this document is sending okay it's sent then we'll go back to the app okay the other thing you can do is scan this document again for instance scan okay click exit click ok now to print this out click share okay then it give you option for you to you need to look for print and scan printer share okay so we need to look for canon print okay so right now click so review the document click next now what we need to do is the following paper is selected do you want to select manual so we have a4 paper click yes a4 paper yes so right now what we need to do is you, you can select the settings okay copy one color okay and size a4 paper okay double sided is also there so you can also select print here we go it's printing out right now so if you change your mind you select cancel or you can also cancel from the app So what it's doing right now is printing this document. Okay, so this is the document we scan, print and it's complete. Click OK. So right now this document we scan, we, we printed out. We also need to go back to the inbox to check this document we sent to my inbox to see whether it's there. So what we need to do right now, go back to the inbox and look for the, what I'm doing right now is looking for this document. The document is there. Click it open. Okay. Download it. What is doing right now is downloading. Okay. Click it open. Okay. So this is the document we scan. This is the first one. Now I want us to print this out, print it out. Okay, select print. Change this to so change it to kind of eight thousand. Okay, Canon 8000 TX 8300 select, select print. Here we go. Right now it's printing, so you need to make sure you select the particular printer. So you, you print is 10 prints per minute for colored. So 
So what we have done right now is we scan the document and print. Okay. I also want to show you how you can print two-sided. Okay, here is the document right now. We scan, okay, and print out. The original one is here, okay. 